Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. So excited to be bringing you this first video in my series using the peel and stick wallpaper from Dollar Tree. Today I have four projects for you that I hope you'll enjoy. DIY number one, we're gonna do something pretty simple. Back to school time is now. You can get composition notebooks at Walmart for 50 cents. I am going to cover two of them using a couple different wallpapers, just measuring the front cover here. And I love this one with the huge peonies flowers on them. It's called Peony Party. And so I'm going to cut a piece a little bit larger than the front of my notebook. You can actually cover both the front and the back with one sheet of the wallpaper. I chose this one to go with it on the inside of our notebooks. Then I'm gonna make a second one using this, I think it's called like woodland something, um, and then the wood grain on the inside. So these wallpapers do have a little perforated strip on the back. These are really, really sticky. So you wanna make sure you get it lined up before it attaches to whatever you're covering. So just take your time. You can pull it up, but as you can see, it's a little tricky and you don't want to wrinkle it too badly. So I do end up putting this piece on the back of my notebook, but just be assured these are pretty sticky. You can see I'm just gonna go right up to that black strip that covers the spine of the notebook and just flatten it out, getting out any air bubbles. It's so pretty, I love, love, love. If you guys find this wallpaper, be sure to grab a few for some nice projects you can make. Now, instead of trimming this around, I am actually going to cut and fold and fold it inside, and then when we cover the inside, it'll cover up the edges. So I'm kind of doing the corners a little bit, they're a little bit rounded, and then kind of running my fingernail to um, score the edge there so I can get it nice and flush against the edge. So I'm gonna do this same routine to the back cover and also the front cover of each of my notebooks. Now, once we have the front and back covers on, I'm gonna measure a slightly smaller rectangle to fit on the inside front and back covers. So I'm just going to measure and then cut my piece. I believe I was gonna do this nine and a quarter by seven or so. Let's see, yep, seven. So you're gonna cut two pieces. So you will have a little bit extra of this wallpaper that you use on the inside to save and use for other projects. And again, once we get those trimmed, we will peel off the backing. You see here, I'm just peeling the little strip off the top so I can get my piece nice and lined up, trying to keep an even border around all four sides. Then I'll flip it up and gently peel off the rest, pressing it down, trying to get out any air bubbles as I go. You know, these are just such a versatile project. I've made these before, covering them with scrapbook paper, but using these awesome wallpaper, uh, peel and stick wallpapers, just really makes it so much simpler because you don't have to use the extra adhesive. The adhesive is all ready on the entire back side. And with so many different designs, you can really make a lot of nice projects, inexpensive gifts, and just really pretty notebooks to share with your friends. Now,
Now once I had these completely covered, I decided to take some sticker letters that I had in my stash and I'm just going to put them on the cover to spell notes. You could personalize these for people by putting their name. If you have any sort of vinyl cutting machine, you could put whatever wording you'd like on here. But they're, like I said, totally customizable. These stickers are nice because they do peel back up but I did not put anything over these to seal them down. If your stickers are not super sticky, you may want to do a little bit of matte finish Mod Podge over the stickers just to make sure they don't come off. And there you go, five minutes. You've got some gorgeous journals, notebooks that you can keep to use or give as gifts completed DIY number one using the peel and stick wallpaper from Dollar Tree. For DIY number two using the peel and stick wallpaper I'm going to use this wood grain looking one a 12 by 12 picture frame from Dollar Tree as well as this canvas artwork. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to take everything out of the frame. This is a plastic frame, but I did like the size and that it was square. I'm going to spray paint it gold to match the canvas artwork that we're going to be putting inside. So the first thing I'm going to do for the picture frame, the inside image, is I'm going to trim down this piece i think this is called like indoor woodland or something like that and then i am going to stick this to the glass okay i'm going to put it right centered on the glass and we're going to stick it really really well now there is a little bit of white edge there you can see at the top and the bottom but we're going to just trim some little scrap pieces to fill those in So here, like I said, I'm going to take some little scrap pieces and I'm just going to match up the pattern there. Not sure if the frame is going to cover up all of that, so that's why I'm doing that. And then we've got this excess here we can trim off and use if we need anywhere else. Now that we have all that done and our beautifully spray painted frame is all dry, we're going to put everything back into the now gold frame and clamp everything down so that everything is nice and secure. I love the matte finish of putting the wallpaper sticker on the outside of the glass and I'm just really excited for this project because look at how beautiful that flower canvas is on top, especially with that gold frame. So all I'm going to do now is remove the sawtooth hanger from the back of my canvas artwork and apply hot glue all the way around the edges there of the canvas and then we're just going to stick this down right in the center of our 12 by 12 frame. And I absolutely love this. I think it is so beautiful. You could make a set of these. And I just love looking through these canvas art pieces when I'm at Dollar Tree. DIY number three using the peel and stick wallpaper. I am going to use this fall cutting board that it's three dollars in the Dollar Tree Plus but you could do this with any cutting board and I loved these two pieces of wallpaper together the butterflies and then the blue with the gold. 
So the first thing I'm doing is I'm removing the twine from the cutting board. And because I would just wanna go ahead and leave the front side says, hello fall, I'm gonna peel off the stickers from the back and we're actually gonna decorate the back side of this cutting board, leaving the other side. So now we will have a two-sided project. Here I'm just trying to decide how much of the cutting board I want to be covered by each of my two designs here. And I'm just measuring and then I'm gonna trim them up with my paper trimmer. So I decided for the bottom design, this blue with the gold, I'm gonna do the bottom eight inches, which is about half. I believe this cutting board was about 16 inches tall maybe more like 18. So I'm measuring from the top there is about 10 or 11 inches. So now we're gonna trim up this really cute butterfly wallpaper and save any scraps for some future projects. Now that I have my pieces cut, I'm gonna go ahead and with this bottom piece, peel off most of the sticky, and I'm gonna line this up right at the bottom of my cutting board, as close and as straight as I can get it on that bottom edge. And then, as we've been doing in this video already, we are gonna smooth this out and get all of the um, backing, I must have had something under there, but just peel it back up and get out whatever it is, and then you can smooth the paper back down. So I love this blue and gold design, geometric design, for the bottom half or so of our cutting board. I'm gonna trim a little closer, but then we're gonna use our sander to get a really clean edge once we have that paper down where we want it. Now scooting to the top of the cutting board, we're gonna line up the butterfly paper right on the edge of the other one, so they're right next to each other. Looks like I need to first get off this little uh, glue dot from where that jute twine was attached. Once we get that nice and flat, we'll go ahead and attach our butterfly wallpaper. Now that those are both nice and attached on there, again, we'll just trim around a little bit and get us a little closer to the edge of the cutting board. Then we'll use some sandpaper to sand all those edges, getting a nice clean cut on all of that wallpaper. You can see here, I did try to use my electric sander, but it was just a little too aggressive for what I wanted. It was, I was afraid it was gonna tear up the paper. So I'm gonna switch back <laughs> to my little pieces of sandpaper that I can control just a little bit easier. And I just love how this is coming along. I am going to sand it just along that edge where we lined it up originally, just to give it a little bit of that white distressed edge. So now we have our board covered with our two different wallpapers. I decided I wanted to use these beads, but I'm not gonna put the jute hanger on the back like they had before. I am, however, going to have some of the beads on the twine and wrap that around like it was originally. So once I had it wrapped, you can see I'm just going to tie, uh, I tried to tie a bow, but it was a little too small. So I believe I'm just going to tie a knot and then maybe have another bow that I attach to the top. So here, just tying a double knot and we're gonna let those beads hang down. Now, 
Next, I'm gonna take one of these faux leather words. I decided to go with the word blessed, and we're gonna attach that at the top there. And then I'm gonna take some of this gold ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I really like this across the center, right where the two wallpapers meet up with each other. I think it just kind of ties the whole thing together. So we're just gonna press that down with a little bit of hot glue, and then we'll trim the edges. And then our last step will be just to put a little bit of hot glue on the back of this blessed word. And we're gonna glue that down on top of the butterfly wallpaper. And DIY number three is done. I love this cutting board and I would love to see different combinations of two other wallpapers as well. For DIY number four, we're gonna make something super simple and functional using this cookie pan from Dollar Tree as well as the butterfly wallpaper again, some magnets from the office supply section and some ribbon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn over my wallpaper, place my cookie pan down on there, and then I'm going to trace around the bottom of the pan, trying to get as close as I can to a piece I can cut out to fit in the bottom of our cookie pan. Then I'm just gonna cut that out. I am cutting kind of on the outside of the lines that I made. I'd rather the piece be a little bit too large that I have to then trim with my fingertip knife rather than me cut it too small here at the beginning. And it looks like we got it pretty well to fit. So now I'm just gonna take that one little strip off and line up my wallpaper onto the cookie pan, get that small section smoothed down where I want it, and then we'll flip it up and peel off the rest of the backing. Again, these wallpapers are really, really sticky. So far, we've attached them to glass, we've attached them to metal, we've attached them to book covers, and in part two of this video later on this week, you're going to see some other surfaces that we're going to use them on as well. So again, just getting it all nice and smoothed out. If there are any sides or edges that are sticking up, we can trim those with our little fingertip knife. Now, using the Crocodile Big Bite was a little tricky because of the lip edge around the pan, but I'm getting this lined up so that I can punch two holes that I will then put some ribbon through. I decided I better mark that second one before I just decided where to put it. So I'm trying to measure from this hole to the outside of the pan, and then I'm gonna put a little mark on my pan where to make my other hole. Next, I'm just gonna take this ribbon. I thought the black matched nicely with the colors. I'm gonna put it through one of the holes and then pull it through so that there's a line of it on the back, come back up through the other one, and then we're just gonna tie a knot and add a little bow for decoration so that you can hang this. The cool thing about this project, again, is you can make it with any of the wallpapers. For a magnet board, you could do vertical like I'm doing here, or you could even do horizontal if you have a wallpaper that will match going the wide way. So now that I have my knot, I'm gonna take that same ribbon and I'm just going to tie a simple bow until I get it the size that I want it. Then we'll trim the edges and once we have the um, tails there kind of dovetailed how we want them, we're just gonna glue this to the top of the knot. Thank you. 
And lastly, I'm just gonna add some magnets from the Dollar Tree office supply section. These, they pretty much have year round and I thought these black ones matched perfectly. Then you, this is all ready to hang to be a really simple little memo board. Well, thanks again so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed these four peel and stick wallpaper projects. Please let me know in the comments which of them is your favorite. And I hope you'll be back for later on in the week. I have four more projects coming for you with the peel and stick wallpaper. Take care.